Hello, hello. Uh, punk rocking here again. What am I going to show you today? Well, I'll tell you right now. Um, I'm going to show you how to move a save file from one RetroPie to another. Um, now when I say save file, I am not talking about a save state. What's the difference, you ask? A save file is the save data from a ROM or game that supports save files. So for example, a game like Sonic or Mario wouldn't have a save file. Games like Zelda or Wario on the Game Boy would um, have save files or supports them. A save state is a nifty little feature on the RetroPie that will allow you to save your game on a game like Sonic or Mario. This is pretty damn cool because if for some reason you're interrupted or you need to play another time and some of those games are hard as hell, um, you can go ahead and do a save state on level 3 and then come back uh, later. For this video, however, I'm only going to show you how to move a save file. And the reason is because I haven't messed with save states uh, too much yet. Call me a purist, call me old-fashioned. But if I'm going to sit down with a game like Sonic or Mario, I'm playing that thing in one sitting like the, uh, the good old days. Um, I have been playing on the Pi for a while now, and I've yet to use them. I'm sure I will uh, mess with it here though soon, and when I do, you know it's coming. I'll make a video! But, um, so, save files. Uh, maybe you threw your RetroPie at your friend's face and it exploded against the wall instead of his face. Or, more likely, you just want to transfer your save file to another RetroPie. Well, Let's begin the long and arduous task. Just kidding, just kidding. It's actually probably one of the more simple things you'll do. I will uh, meet you over at the TV and we will get started. All right, so we're heading over to the uh, TV here. And first thing I'm gonna show you, even though I probably don't need to, uh, but the example I'm gonna use here is Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3 World. Just gonna go ahead and launch this mo. Uh, and show you where I'm at. Um, man, I love this game too. I don't know why. I never played any of the Warios, but it's pretty cool. So as you can see, file A, uh, 12. So this is the file that we're going to copy over to the uh, the other RetroPie. So here I am at Sherbert Land. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'll meet you back over on the computer and I'll uh, show you how we uh, are going to go about this. All right, we're back over uh, on the computer here, <clears throat> and excuse me. And now, before we begin, um, you will need your computer and your RetroPie on the same network using Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Also, I'm going to be showing you how to use or do this using the Samba Share method. Uh, you can also use WinSCP, or uh, you could probably get away with using a USB flash drive too. But basically, the overall goal is to get into the same folder that the ROMs are stored in. And in that folder, after you played a game and saved, there'll be another file there that we want to grab. So however you do it, I'm going to show you this way. But uh, after you save, the file is there. So whatever way you choose, <coughs> Samba Share, WinSCP, USB, we just want to get in there and grab this file. One more quick thing before we begin, um, I'm assuming you know how to get ROMs to and from your RetroPie and also that you know the IP address or the name of your RetroPie. If for some reason you don't know any of that, uh, check out this video here and it'll walk you through on how to find all that good stuff. It's uh, the video on uh, the many ways to get ROMs to your RetroPie. It'll walk through WinSCP. USB flash drive, um, Samba shares, how to find the IP, how to find the name of your RetroPie. All right, with all that out of the way, onwards and upwards. Um, so first, we are going to want to go to start, and then we're going to want to go to run. We're on a Windows machine, obviously. Sorry, Mac dudes. And then when run comes up, we are going to want to type in backslash backslash RetroPie, or the name of your RetroPie, or backslash backslash the IP address of your RetroPie. So go ahead and type that in there and hit enter. 
that's going to pop up um, four folders, and the one we are looking for is the ROMs folder. So we are going to go into the ROMs folder, and then since I am my example is Wario, I'm going to go ahead and go into the GB folder, and then I am going to scroll all the way to the bottom, or I'm just going to hit W because uh, that's where I'm going. And if you see here, there's uh, two files, Wario Land Super Mario Land 3 World.gb. That's the actual ROM or game. Wario Land Super Mario Land 3.srm. SRM is our save file. So that is what we're going to want to grab. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste this onto my desktop here. And then, uh, now with the magic of uh, fairy dust and a camera, I'm going to switch over to a, another micro SD card or RetroPie with Wario on it, but no save file. Uh, be right back. Hello? Look! Hey! Listen! All right, wasn't that just magical? Uh, now, the same thing uh, with your RetroPie connected to the same network and all that good stuff. Go ahead and connect to it again. So start run, type in the name or IP address, go to ROMs, go to the emulator folder you uh, want. I'm going to go to the Game Boy one here. And I'm just going to copy this SRM file in there. And boom! That is it. Pretty simple, right? Cool shit. I'm kidding. we got to do one more step. I'll meet you uh, right back over at the TV, and we can uh, finish this thing up. All right, we're back over at the uh, TV here, and honestly, I was kidding. There's really uh, not another step. I'm just going to go ahead and launch it here. You don't even have to reboot it. If for some reason it doesn't show up, go ahead and restart it. But there it is, uh, file A12. Everything's there. Go down my little hole here. And there we are. So that's about it. That's all you need to do. Pretty damn easy, right? Good shit. But uh, seriously, that's pretty much it for moving a save file from uh, one RetroPie to another. I hope to have another video soon on moving save states. Um, I'm not sure how much more complicated it would honestly be, but uh, one day soon. I loved when I found out about uh, this here because there's nothing worse than having to start a game over after all that hard work also from time to time you can just scour through your retro pie and make backups of your saved data if you want to uh, if something ever happens to your SD card uh, you'll have your epic ass quest saved it's also a lot faster and easier than making an entire backup of your SD card every once in a while you can just go through grab your more important saves and leave the rest to rot um, but anyway, thanks again for watching, and I hope you're having fun uh, saving princesses and blowing shit up. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, peeps.